Arson. Adam. You look way different than I expected. For obvious reasons. So, how's life? How's everyone doing? As soon as I saw that we were playing a chess game, I immediately was excited. I love using the metaphor of a game of chess um, in uh, artistic and especially in film pieces because it adds that the constant surveying one another, the, the quick, swift movements, the, the volleying between one another. And uh, this was a great piece in terms of trying to suss one another out, figuring out if they're playing the same game, if they're on the same side, when clearly they're not, and constantly taking one another's pieces until we see which side wins and which side if the person loses. So pretty brilliant piece uh, altogether, and I think great use of the short for, uh, film format as well. It was really nice and snappy, great pacing, full full circle moment right at a nice four and a half minute mark. Hey, I'm commenting on the short film Mono Dialogue. Um, I thought that this was really inventive and clever. Um, I I loved the fact that you, you know, sort of staged this conversation as taking place over a game of chess. Um, I, I thought that that was just a really nice uh, visual representation of, I guess, the, um, sort of the way that they're feeling each other, uh, or, well, rather the, uh, the earlier version of this person is feeling out the older version of this person, um, in sort of this little sparring match. Um, I also just sort of really appreciated the, uh, the suggestion that, uh, people evolve into things that they never expected to evolve into, and, um, you know, I think, I think with the, uh, with the, with the trans metaphor here, that's, um, just a way of saying that one way and then highlighting it in a whole other way, you know, I uh, like, it's not that, that we're focusing on. It's the fact that, um, uh, this character ultimately ended up making life choices that they never thought that they were going to make. Um, and I think that there's something, uh, like there's sort of a beautiful poetry in that and, um, there's, you know, you can also see how uh, upsetting and affecting it is to uh, this person's younger self too, um, which I think is is uh, sort of one of those things where it's hard to hold both ideas in your head at the same time, but it's kind of necessary. Um, really nice work with this. I really enjoyed it. Uh, well done. Mono dialogue. This was awesome. I mean, right off of the bat, you're captured by these beautiful sepia tones. I loved that. And I loved the camera work too, that they, they utilized the mirrors that were in the room. So I thought that that was very smart, very clever. The story of this was so unique and so well told. You know, the way that they kind of divvied out the information for you to figure out on your own what was going on. But then by the end, they kind of let you know Definitely. Yeah, you're right. I just thought that they did such a great job with this. And the music, the music was absolutely perfect. I loved that too. So great job. Hi, these are my comments for Mono Dialogue. I love the concept for this short, but it was really inventive. I think the actors did a really great job. Uh, and it was a different way to tell like the transition story uh, in a way that I'd never seen before. And I really appreciated how uh, raw, but also pensive and and introspective it was. I think like just from the pure aesthetics, um, the use of mirrors and reflection was really smart uh, and uh, felt really thematically uh, like important and well woven together. I also loved the score, the jazz score was great and just the set decoration, all of that. Um, but really organic to the story that we were watching. Uh, and then the script, which was excellent, um, like outside of it being a story of, 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 of queerness and transitioning, I think that uh, the idea of questioning oneself and, uh, and looking deeper at one's wants and needs um, and how those things evolve over time is a really um, timeless and universal 
uh, message and and uh, approach to a short and I think that it did a really great job um, in the script and the actors like executing what it is uh, to question oneself and to take a deeper dive into like what it is we want and why do we want it um, but looking at it specifically from a gender point of view I think that uh, it's like a really fascinating dissection of that dichotomy uh, or what it was a dichotomy in or the spectrum of it I suppose um, is the more correct way of saying it um, for both gender and sexuality and the the character or characters exploration of that uh, felt um, really timely and important uh, but also uh, really personal and so I really enjoyed um, watching them debate it out over a chess game I think that was also really smart um, like the I thought it was a really smart way to externalize uh, their conflict and the metaphor itself I enjoyed it I loved everything about this one the premise was super cool gets us right into it doesn't really uh, require any explanation it's sort of all revealed in due time um, the writing is fantastic the performances are great um, I just love the way they well everything about this really the art direction the uh, the, the costume the the set design like it's all it just works um, the fact that they're uh, they're playing chess with themselves essentially um, there's just all these wonderful layers to this piece the score was really great too when I say I loved everything about this one I mean I loved everything about this one